I myself always felt like I was not meant to be in our traditional educational system. Not because I could not do it, but because I felt like I could do so much more. So, I did. I chose an alternative way of learning in high school, and it made me a better version of myself. I learned how to present myself, how to build things from scratch. I learned that there is not only one way of learning. That being creative can bring you as far as, if not even further than studying numbers or words. I gained confidence and knowledge at the same time. I feel like I used my gift to the fullest and that I am still using it this day. I think we need to change our school system into something where everybody gets an equal chance to discover their true skills and talents. But first, let's go back to the beginning. The traditional way of teaching came to the Netherlands in 1830. That was around the same time that boys and girls could go to the same school. Um, so you can see that, were some, that some changes were made there. Uh, the new way of teaching was very simple. The teacher teached, the students listened. They only had three subjects then, and those were uh, Reading, writing, and maths. Um, of course, other subjects were later added to the school's curriculums because they became more important then. Um, and at last, they added uh, the element of testing to the education uh, because they wanted to see if the um, students were making some kind of progress. Those were the basic principles uh, for the education as we know it now. Because we, I think we can all recognize this way of working because we probably all been in the system as it like it is now. Um, but our society changed drastically during those 200, 200 years. Uh, we've got an internet and mobile phones. We created a ton of new jobs. We've shifted our focus from working and religion to self-growth, leisure and creating new innovative things. So why hasn't our school system changed with us? Because of all these changes we have experienced and still are experiencing. Subjects like maths and reading and writing aren't enough anymore. We are evolving into a skill-based society in which skills such as presenting yourself, giving feedback, uh, reflecting, or project-based working are getting more and more important. The subjects that are now being taught uh, in the educational system are not living up anymore to the, the level of skills we need in today's society. In this changing society, other things are also happening. Like I said before, we are evolving into a skill-based society and more and more people are noticing and anticipating. Despite all these new jobs we created, you still have to compete with others to get the best job you can. The competition in the business life creates a pressure to achieve in school. The better the diploma you get, the better the job you can get. This pressure has negative effects on things like our mental health. More and more young people often start to isolate themselves to focus on getting the best results in school. This will eventually lead to depression, antisocial behavior, or even loneliness. In this example, I was only talking about the people who fit into our traditional system. But what if you don't fit in this system? For example, people with ADHD or concentration problems often find themselves not fitting in this system. So then you experience a lot of pressure from the system and you also don't really fit in. So how big are the chances then that you're going to finish your education? I want to dive a little deeper into this group. Because where does this not fitting in come from? Most of the times it comes from the way of teaching in the traditional system. People who don't fit in often need to experience themselves and discover themselves before they can make the right connections in their brain. If you put them then in a traditional way of learning, you discourage them to discover themselves and you take away their curiosity, which can lead to a lower level of creativity. And creativity is 
something we need nowadays in this society. It's getting a more and more important skill. Next to the group of people who don't fit in our educational system, there's another group who's highly discouraged by our traditional system. And that are the people who want to do something with the arts. The chances of growing in arts and the chances of growing, for example, in maths are not the same because maths is a mandatory subject and the arts are no mandatory subject. So the chances are not being equal. Children these days are still being told that being an artist is no job. I don't agree. I myself study theater and some of my classmates from them are now turning into wonderful directors, actors and writers. And of course I know there are risks of being a freelancer in the arts. You don't have certainty of a job. But then again, if we look at the society and how it's changing it, how it is changing these days, you are also not sure anymore of an office job. So then you can better do something you love instead. I discovered my passion for theater because I did an alternative way of learning in high school. There I got the chance and the freedom to discover my talents and develop the skills I wanted to develop. But if we really want to make a change, we need to start at the beginning, at our elementary schools. Because if we start teaching uh, at elementary schools in alternative ways, you create the basis for a more open and a more free way of teaching. There are also are already some great alternatives. For example, you have STEAM education. This is more focused on high school, but I think it's a great alternative for the traditional system. Um, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Maths. And in the STEAM way of learning, all those subjects are being applied on real life situations. So then the people are not only being teach the theory, but simultaneously, they are being teach the skills they need to have, like reflecting or project-based work. If we then look at the alternatives we have here in the Netherlands, we deal with a few interesting ones. Um, we, for example, have the Vrije School or the Free School. We have uh, Agora Schools and we have something called EGO, which stands for Ervaringsgericht Onderwijs or Experience-Focused uh, Education. And I think the last one is very interesting because if you look at the way how they teach, they immediately tackle all the problems that we face in the traditional education. Um, ego education is based on the free choice of the children and uh, of the experience the children have in school. The teacher, for example, is only there to be an observer and a mentor instead of teaching all the content. So why is ego uh, then a good alternative for our traditional educational system? First of all, because it's a more skill based way of learning and that fits more into the society we have created nowadays, the skill based society. Next to that, the free choice of the children is very important in this way of education. Because if the children are free to choose something they like to do, this will enhance the chance of them being successful, which also takes away uh, a bit of the pressure they would normally feel in the traditional system. At last, uh, this way of uh, teaching also teaches the children that there is not one way to do, uh, do something because they get the freedom to explore and discover themselves, they will learn that there are many ways to do things. So with all these great alternatives, you may wonder why the system hasn't changed yet. That's because a lot of people in society say, but this system is working, so why would we change it? Most of the students get their diploma without a lot of struggles, so why would we change it? And yeah, that is true. The biggest part of our students are getting their diplomas without a lot of struggles. But if we have a chance to create a system in which every child gets an equal chance to finish successfully, why are we not changing the system then? I got the opportunity to use my gift and it changed me. 
let's together change the system into something where every child fits in. Where every child can be who they want to be. Where every child gets the chance to use their own gift to the fullest.